thanks for stopping by, this is Teresa from Semidolls. I thought I'd do another Q&A video as I received a couple of questions that I thought might be interesting to answer and interesting for you to hear the answers to. Um, uh, again, I forgot my tea. At least I have a candle. Let's light a candle to give it a nice little atmosphere here. <laughs> candle! <laughs> okay. So, the first question is, how do I get my doll to look perfect the first time? How do I get the eyes to look perfect and the chin, etc.? So, this is a really good question and I asked myself that question when I first started making dolls. Um, how do you do that? So, first thing, the first thing to notice is that doll making really is a it's not an easy art form so it's really an art it's not really like following a recipe or um, assembling a piece of furniture it's a really um, fine art form really I think so the best possible starting point you can have is to have the semi dolls patterns and the videos where you really can see what I'm doing with my hands while I'm making the doll and then the rest is really practice. Sadly, it's as, as straightforward and plain as that. <laughs> practice makes perfect. So um, what I suggest is that you practice for, for the eyes and mouth, you practice on the back of the head of the doll because I know doll making materials are not cheap. So turn around the head and make some, um, follow the steps in the semi tutorials. I try to make a diagram where it's really, really um, clear how to sew the eyes, how to embroider the eyes, practice on the back of the head as many times as you need, practice the mouth. Um, that's really all. That's um, I didn't know that I could do that in the beginning until I started joining some doll making groups on Facebook and um, I messed up quite a few of my dolls the first time round. But I just um, started over again and practiced until the eyes looked the way that I wanted them to look. And to this day, the eyes are a challenge. You know, it's not easy to make them look perfect. And I mean, what is perfect anyway, right? How to get the chin perfect? Um, the secret really is here to make the stuff the head as firmly as you can and then not too firm so you can still pull the eye and neck string. And the secret really is the neck string um, so that the chin and cheeks naturally pop out. <laughs> I think it's funny how I'm touching my head, you know? You know, I hope you know what I mean. So, yeah, practice. Follow the tutorial, the video tutorials, follow the steps in the written pattern and practice, practice, practice. <laughs> And as for making the perfect doll, I mean, perfect is always relative, isn't it? If we watch our children with the first dolls that we made, the dolls that we think are not quite perfect, we can see all the love that our children have for these dolls. All these dolls, all the children see is, oh, it's such a beautiful doll. I want to cuddle her, I want to hug her. And I think we can learn a lot from our children in that respect, that we are a little bit more patient with ourselves, a little bit more forgiving and that we can love. We made, we put so much work into this doll and even if it doesn't look as perfect as we think it should or could look, um, we made that with our own hands and that's really, really special. And um, while our children are doting on our less than perfect dolls, in our opinion, we can practice until the dolls look the way we want them to look. Um, what is your accent is the next question. So the next question, my accent is um, I was born in Germany and now I live in Australia so that's my accent. I traveled around the world a little bit, I've been to the US for a while, um, I've had lots of friends from all over the world, uh, Indian friends, African friends that I talked to and I think I picked up a few little words and little twangs here and there. <laughs> um, where do you live? In Australia. already said that. How come you live in Australia? Um, you know, love, I guess. How um, I was just bored one day in Germany at home and um, looking around on the internet and a question popped up somewhere and that question really intrigued me. It was something to do with the meaning of life and all that. 
and I felt moved to click on that question and I wrote an answer, just some thoughts that popped into my head. And um, then I started, eventually started chatting with that person who posted that question and he turned out to be my husband later on. So we got chatting, we got Skyping and then he invited me and my daughter to come to Australia for a visit. And basically we never left. So that's how I'm here making my dollies, filming my tutorials and having a good time, I guess. I never thought I would end up in a tropical paradise like this. I'm so happy every morning, not nearly every morning go out for, go out for a walk and I see the waterfront and the palm trees and it's, I'm, I feel very, very blessed. So that was, um, that was a few little questions that I received. If you have a question for me, leave it down below in the comments. I love to film these Q&A videos. I really enjoy watching Q&A videos on the channels that I'm watching regularly because I like to get to know the person behind the tutorials. I hope you do too. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you next time. Bye!